Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series. We're looking at Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. And uh, this is my second uh, Black Series figure that I've been reviewing. And I just did Vader. I figured, hmm, Luke Skywalker, why not? Because this was like... My hero growing up, man. Like, I, you know, between Luke and Han, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, and sorry about the glare, man. I'm not used to doing these, but I've, I've got time. It's early in the morning, so I'm trying to get some of these busted out. Um, but, yeah, this, I think this is probably my favorite version that we have of Luke Skywalker as of yet. Um, there are a lot of really good ones, and I've got quite a few different Luke Skywalkers we're going to be going through, but uh, I especially like this one because this is where he's getting a little more darker and he's really trying to fight off the, the dark side, um, and he's kind of getting, you know, drunk with power and stuff, so I don't know, I like it though, because he still stayed true to his Jedi form, so, you know, we got to give it to Luke for that. Um... Yeah. See, <laughs> and this is becoming like a dream come true for me because um, when I was a kid, I didn't have Star Wars figures. My older cousins had some, but I never had any Star Wars figures. I started off with He Man because I was born right there in 1980. And granted, Star Wars, you know, but. The Star Wars figures that were coming out, I was too young for. By the time I got old enough to even realize what it was, it was kind of already drifted off and, and gone. I don't know what the fuck this is. Anybody? What the hell? I, I'm new to Black Series, so I don't, I don't know these things. <laughs> but anyway, as a kid, I had always wanted... A Luke Skywalker, at least, and a Darth Vader action figure to have, you know, to play with, uh, you know. <laughs> so, having these figures is like a dream come true for me because I finally have my Luke and my Vader. <laughs> so, ah. Eat that, childhood. Um... <laughs> So we do get a blaster with this one here, which, uh, I don't, <laughs> isn't this movie the one where he actually got his hand chopped off too? Um, I'm surprised we don't have a version of that, and if we do, maybe I missed out or something, but, um, I do like the soft goods cloak and everything, but I really don't like the way that hood and hangs but uh i did get pick up a few of these whenever this guy came out back in the day and i was able to pick and choose which one had the best stitching and stuff done on it and so at least i have that i mean the i can always do something to get that hood to lay differently maybe like a flat iron or something Use my girlfriend's flat iron, get it the way I want it, kind of mash it down, and maybe just kind of seam it down. Uh, I don't know, I'll figure something out. But I just kind of want it to hang there, like a hood actually would hang. It just kind of wants to stand straight up. Okay, so we got his lightsaber, at least his green lightsaber. Um... It does suck that there's no weapon storage on him, and he does kind of have some loose, I guess it's his hips that are really kind of loose right there. They kind of flop. That bothers me, but I can, you can work around it, so whatever you can work around, I tend to be able to live with, <laughs> you know, because I don't demand perfection, but it's nice when we can get it. I do know, hang on, I don't I know it's gonna come off. Because I know that these 
are designed, aren't they supposed to be able to be removable? Yeah, so you can just have the uh, lightsaber without the saber out. See, man, that fucking hood's standing straight up again. I probably should have reviewed a different one of these Lukes. <laughs> Shit, got a motherfucker using it with his left hand. Because the trigger finger's on the right. And I, I swear I thought Luke was right handed, but. Uh. Whatever. <laughs> like, I mean, I like the blaster, but I just don't feel like it's necessary to Luke. So, I may not have him posted with it. So. All in all, I like it. I just. Oh, God, this hood. Like, I think I might actually stick. Or marble or something in there to something weighted just to kind of hold it down. I think that would really help a lot. Um, I'm sure that would. I can't think of anything offhand that I could just drop in there real quick, but I know it would work. Just stick that in there for now. <laughs> That's what it's for, right? Isn't that what this is for? See, Star Wars just sits in the hood. So, <laughs> this is a really cool figure though let me get that out of there let's try to hold that hood down give you guys a look at his face damn good head sculpt on here looks like Mark Hamill I love the, I love the green saber um, he's used different colors I guess I mean he I know he had blue at one time Oh, uh, I wish there was some boot rotation in there. That would be awesome. This torso moves okay. So, I mean, yeah, there's some cool articulation in these Star Wars Black Series, and that's another reason why I really like them, because... Here, I'm just going to stick the gun in here. Maybe that'll weigh it down a little. Doubt it. But I want the lightsaber. God, this one... This is a really flimsy lightsaber, man. Really flimsy. But I, uh, I like the right hand better. But I'm, I was hoping I'm going to try to get a two-handed pose. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really looked at too many, probably too many Black Series reviews on YouTube, other people's reviews, so I don't know. It's happening, though. He's he's got two hands on it. You just kind of maneuver it a little bit. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. That's what's up, man. It's not the perfect form, but let me see. Uh, trying to get it out there a little bit, and I'm sure that this this cloak is removable. He probably just eh. I thought we could pop off these heads off of Black Series. Am I fucking it up or what? Okay, I'm just going to pull it over the head then. <laughs> but yeah, I figured it would be removable. <laughs> oh man, this freaking... This is even better now. <laughs> that cloak just gets in the way. So there's a... Swivel at the hip. Double jointed knees ankle pivot, all that good stuff. A little bit of tilt in the head. Uh, yeah, I can work with this, man. This is good stuff right here. I like this. Really like this Luke Skywalker. Holy fuck, I love it. So, I guess it's comparison time. Um, and I, <laughs> I'm not trying to steal that catchphrase. I mean, it just... It's a figure of speech, like, it's, it is comparison time. I am going, it's time for me to compare, so I'm not trying to steal anybody's lines when I say that stuff. 
<clears throat> just, you know, I'm just saying. But the only one I've compared from this line so far, really, is Darth Vader, his father. And I think these two scale perfectly. This is fucking delightful. Like, I am, I'm so excited now about doing these black series that, uh, it sucks. It's going to agitate me because I can't do any more today. It's all this back here is blinding and it's like, <laughs> um, I haven't slept. My contacts are really getting dry, but just doing these two right off the get go has gotten me madly falling in love with Star, Star Wars Black Series. So I cannot wait to engage and do more and more and more. I've got them lined up right here. So many do. I'm doing the Mandalorian. I'm going to do Han Solo and Leia. And, you know, we're just going to dig in. I've got Darth Maul in there. We're, we're going to, ooh, I just can't wait. And, and, and so many troopers and different. Oh, it's going to be fun. So you guys let me know what you guys think of these figures. Let me know what you guys think of the video. And always comment. Please comment. Definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already done that. And I'm Master Marvel Lady here, man. And I'm out of here until next time. Peace out.